This is what I call face mask freakouts. You know, I, I've, I've made it clear I can't stand seeing people walking around without a mask. Just listen to this exchange. It's great. I mean, it's just, this is what we're dealing with. I just want to show my 3,000 follower Instagram feed. Mostly local. Hi, everyone. I work for Costco, and I'm asking this member to put on a mask because that is our company policy. So either wear the mask. And I'm not doing it because I woke up in a free country. He's going to take the card away because he's a... There he is, walking away with all my stuff. I woke up in a free country. I don't have to wear a mask. People can't even fundamentally figure out how our country works on the simplest level. Freedom doesn't mean you get to do whatever the fuck you want whenever you want to. He can stay home and not go to the grocery store if he doesn't wear a mask. That's his freedom. One man went totally nuts outside a Publix grocery store in Florida. You are in violation of my fucking constitutional rights and my civil rights. I've already fucking warned you. Fucking expect it. I'm filing a fucking class action lawsuit. You can take your fake fucking global terroristic false flag attack, shove it up your motherfucking ass. You're terrorists. They're all worried about their rights, but your right to stay healthy and to stay safe is uh, irrelevant. Means nothing. This guy in Pennsylvania tried to enter a uh, giant Eagle grocery store without a mask. I have a doctor's note where I don't have to wear one. I'll show you. It's, 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 it's not. It's, I'll show you. It's, it's don't touch me. Walk you put your hands on me again, I'll sue you. I read the doctor's note. It said, this man's an asshole, and I don't care if he gets sick. Get him out of my <laughs> office. And I feel so bad for grocery store workers. You're trying to make a living. You're trying to deliver food. And, and now, you're looking for the goodwill of others. Now you need to be a bouncer and grocery yeah. store worker. Hi, I have a medical condition that I'm not allowed to wear a mask and I'm not required by HIPAA rules and regulations to okay. disclose that. Okay, can we shop for you? So what does that look like? We, I have private things I want to get that maybe I don't want you to see. You? I have private stuff that I don't want you to see. Then you can call corporate office, but I can't help you. Okay, well, you guys can get a lawsuit. You're not embarrassed to sit there and argue with a poor guy working in a grocery store, but you're embarrassed to, to let him pick up your tampons for you? <laughs> so they're literally calling the police on me. Good. Because I Good. am not putting this mask on. There's so much research that says that we actually are in danger of having this mask. I'm breathing my own CO2. Do you understand that? No, I'm not endangering you because I'm a healthy person. She went on to call everyone else in the store wearing masks sheep. Look at all of these sheep that are here all wearing this mask. It's actually dangerous for them and it's doing nothing for them. A 99% survival rate and you're all wearing masks like sheep. Like sheep, seriously. It's ridiculous. You guys share this. This is what we're dealing with in America. This cannot be the new normal. By the way, just so you don't think I'm being an asshole, there were over 17,000 new coronavirus cases yesterday. I mean, come on, what are we doing? Somebody help us. Even high pitch Eric wore a mask yesterday. I went to the AT&T store and I wore a mask. Fuck these people not wearing their masks, okay? Right. Yeah, if Eric can do it. If I could do it, let these fucking morons do it.